Welcome to another edition of All Things Cyber with Dr. Dave Martin. On today's episode of All Things Cyber, we're going to talk about a couple of very dangerous cyber threats that are just all too real. We're going to talk about phishing and spear phishing. Hey, Baba, let's go fishing. No, I'd rather go whaling. It's a much bigger catch. Fishing, whaling, spear fishing. What does this have to do with cybersecurity? The answer, everything. These social engineering attacks are the most pervasive and most dangerous social engineering cyber threats on the internet today. The Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency deemed that sphere phishing is such a threat that they set together a task force with the FBI to address the threat specifically. You see, in the past year, they've estimated that over 7,000 user accounts in 350 governmental departments alone have been victim of these types of cyber attacks. Okay, okay, I'm convinced, Dave, they're a huge threat. But exactly what are these types of attacks? So phishing is a social engineering hack. It tricks the victims into sharing valuable information to the hacker. It's often called a stab in the dark. Spear phishing attacks a specific, specific target because of what they know and the value of the data that they have. And whaling, well, that's that big guy. That's that general, that CEO. It's very targeted spear phishing. Some phishing attempts can be as simple as an innocent junk mail advertisement, or they can be so sophisticated and they can use well-known scare tactics like this fake IRS website and says you may need to ex access our webpage through the link provided here. Well, guess what? The IRS does not initiate taxpayer communications through the email. But these phishing attempts, again, they can be very, very sophisticated and they can scare you into getting valuable information from you. And once they have your data, they can steal your identity and it can take months or even years to recover it. So how do you protect yourself? Well, you don't respond to suspicious emails. Don't. If, there, if you have any, any doubt, don't respond. And you need to verify the sender. Ensure all your social media requests come from real people. Again, you got to verify. Limit your access to your own social media pages. Don't click shortened URLs or unknown pages. Always check the address of the link. How do you do that? You hover it over, and then you look at the real address down on the lower left-hand corner of your browser. And always browse securely using HTTPS. You need to avoid phishing attacks. You need to protect your personal data and be a skeptic. Don't be a victim of phishing. Well, that's all I got for you today. Come back soon for another episode of all things.